Your nationality is determined by the seed of your father. I want to start off with giving all praise and honor and glory to Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh Shai, Bashim Rakakadash. Double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Peace and salutations to you, brothers, to the four corners of the earth. Preaching this word and also laboring in this word in truth, love, and sincerity. And may blessings fall upon the houses of the one third. And as I said, and as the scripture stated, as the scripture states, your nationality is determined by the seed of your father. Okay? Your father determines what race you actually are. And as you see me going through the screen, I'm showing you a few children that look like they are from another nation. But in fact, these children that are on the screen are in fact, indeed, they're Israelites, okay? They're Israelites by the seed of their fathers. So let's get the first scripture, okay? And I'm pretty sure you all know it. This is what we go to to prove this fact. This is the book of Numbers 1 verse 18. And it reads, it says, And they assembled all the congregation together on the first day of the second month. And they declared their pedigrees they declared their lineage after their families by the house of their fathers, according to the number of the names from 20 years old and upward by their pope. You see? Hey, so they declared their lineage, they declared their pedigrees after their families by the house of their fathers. Why? Because the man carries the seed. Okay? The man carries the seed, not the woman. Okay, let's go to the book of Leviticus 15, verse 16, right? And this is in the law, you know, but there's a point I want to make in it. And it reads, it says, if any man's seed, if any man's seed of copulation go out from him, he shall wash all his flesh in the water and be unclean until the evening. Now, why doesn't it never mention uh, of a woman having seed? Because women does not, do not carry seed, Okay. The woman carries eggs, but she does not consider, uh, she does not carry seed. Only the man carries the seed, okay? And when a man put his seed into the woman, right, the race of that child is determined by or whatever nationality that father is, okay? Now, if an Israelite man has a child by a heathen woman, okay, a woman that's not from the nation uh, a woman that's not from the children of Israel or the nation of Israel, guess what that child would be? That child would still be an Israelite and vice versa. If a, if a heathen man, right, have a child by an Israelite woman, then that child would be a heathen child. That child would be called a bastard, all right? So now, um, let's go into these images real fast. And I just want to show you something through the spirit, Okay. Because a lot of you, you, you Israelites, you don't get the fact that the man carries the seed. Okay? You, st you keep harping on this all black, black. Israel got to be black. Okay? Israel got to be dark skinned. That's not, no. Okay? That's not true. Alright? Um, and I'm about to show you with a few examples that I have found. Okay? So now... First example, let's deal with Blake Griffin, okay? Now, on the screen, you see Blake Griffin's son. Just imagine you don't see Blake Griffin there at all, right? You just see the little boy, right? I think his, his name is um Ford. His son's name is Ford Wilson Cameron Griffin, right? So just, just uh, for, a, a visually say, for a visual sake, just X Blake Griffin out of the picture, and all you see is his son. His child looks like an Edomite, okay? Now, how did this happen? Okay, now we're going to go through two generations. Blake Griffin's father, right? Let's just get, let's get the, let's get the image because people, our people need to see images. Uh, Blake Griffin's father, right, is the Israelite from the tribe of Levi. But his father happened to deal with a heathen woman, right? An Edomite woman at that. The reason why Blake's Griffin's features features came out the, the reason why Blake Griffin came out the way he looks today, okay? Because he 
he got he ended up getting features uh, from his mother's side. Okay. Oh, here we go. Example. Boom. Without a shadow of doubt. Look at that. Blake Griffin's mother right there and Blake Griffin's father. Right. Now we can clearly, for the most part, see that Blake Griffin's mother is an Edomite. Okay. A so-called white woman. But Blake's father, right, as you see on the left-hand side, is clearly a dark-skinned man. And we, uh, his father has been traced back going to the land of Levi, which are the so-called Haitians today. So no matter what Blake Griffin looks like, no matter what Blake Griffin's son look like, his son look like, or his daughter, hey, they're Israelites, okay? Because what? Blake Griffin's father is an Israelite, right? Blake Griffin's grandfather is an Israelite, okay? They're Levites, they're Haitians. So hey, this does not uh, uh, go by skin color, okay? This is not really going by looks. It's all about the seed and it's about the spirit, okay? You see? And we're not carnal, we're, we here at Great Millstone, we're spiritual men, okay? And we see things for what they are. We don't go by uh, carnal means, we don't uh, judge things off the flesh, all right? We see all these things through the spirit. Okay, so you see the example of Blake Griffin's mother and father, right? Now, Blake Griffin went about and dealt with this, clearly an Edomite woman right here. You see? See? A blonde-headed woman. Is the reason you see Blake Griffin's son look like this. You see? Look at this little boy. He got his blonde hair. You know, got the, the white skin. But guess what? He's an Israelite by the seed of his father. Let's continue on. All right, let's go to another example. And it's the same thing, right? Um, so here we go. Once again, look at this little girl, right? You unspiritual people will say, well, she's an Edomite. She got blonde hair. Look, she got white skin. She got to be an Edomite. Nope, because if you know who her father is, right, from the line of her father, from the seed of her father, she goes back to being an Israelite. Who is this little girl's father? Blake Griffin. You see that? Do you see how the features can, you see how the features have changed from one generation to another generation by dealing with women of another nation? So this is what happened uh, amongst Israel, okay? The men of Israel slept with women from different nations, right? And over a period of time, our children start to come out looking like these women from other nations. That, that's, come on, man. Okay, that's plain. You see, so no matter what this little girl looks like, no matter what this little boy looks like, hey, they're still Israelites, okay? Because a lot of you out there, y'all are heretics, okay? And y'all go by this false doctrine talking about um, the, the father has to, for someone in order to be an Israelite, you say the mother has to be an Israelite and the father to be an Israelite. No, okay, only the father. And there's 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 a uh, plenty of examples of all of our forefathers dealing with women that are heathens. That's from a heathen nation, but their children still being Israelites. Okay, like I did in my last video. If you want to go check it out, Moses. Moses dealt with a Midianite woman. Moses' children was or Israelites. Okay. Um, um, our forefather Jacob, I think uh, Bilah and, and, and Zippa, Zipla or something like that, right? Hey, Jacob's children were still Israelites. Same as a uh, 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 um, King David's uh, King David's uh, King David's grandmother, right? Was it was a, a Moabite, but King David's grandfather, I believe it was a was a Obed, I think it was Obed or Boaz, dealt with that heathen woman. Hey, the children that came out of him were still Israelites. You know, so it's all about the seed of your father. Okay, so let's um, continue on. And this is more of just showing, you know, examples of uh, children of Israel looking like people of other nations. But their land still goes back to Israel. So this is more of showing images than scriptures. You know, but, you know, hope the lesson is still edifying for you brothers and sisters out there. All right? You know, because we got a lot of brothers and sisters out there that are getting shamed because they look like heathens. But guess what? Y'all are still, y'all are Israelites, man. Okay, so you got people that's coming against y'all with this, you gotta be 
dark skin and wooly hair and all this madness. Hey, these people is off, man. And don't follow these bug outs, man. Okay, because they not in the spirit. So, okay, so what's there with uh, Rashida Jones, right? Look at this woman. From looking on the outside, she looks like a complete Edomite, right? And, you know, she's an actress. She's known. Look at her. Now, do you know who Rashida Jones' father is? He, he might pop up. Let's see. Nah, let's see. He didn't pop up. Well, we're going we're gonna to pop him up on the screen. I just wanted to show you a, a picture of uh, Rashida Jones. Let's see if uh, he may pop up here. Well, I'll tell you, her father, Rashida Jones' father, it shows you right here, Quincy Jones, okay? A so-called Negro, right? So this woman, that look like another, Nathan, another nation, she's a Judite, okay? She's a Judite, right? And a lot of you, you Israelites got a problem with her because she got that, you know, she got that long Edomite-looking hair, per se, right? And she don't look like your average Israelite. But a lot of the people that's dark skin with woolly hair that look like an average Israelite, a lot of them are Edomites, man. Okay? Hey, like I made an example. You got Tia and Tamara Maori. They look like Israelites. I thought they was a part of our people all my life. Till I found out their father's an Edomite. Look at them children. All Edomites, no matter what they look like. Um, Tracy Ellis Ross. I thought forever she was our people. Her father's an Edomite. All the all this all all them kids that uh uh, Tracy Ellis Ross is a, a mother head. I forget her. I forget the mother's name. She slept with a heathen man. So all them children, right? They're all Edomites. None of them. None of them kids look like they're our people, or or our people. Not at all, man. You see? But this also goes back to the wheat and tares, right? Them children will be labeled tares. You know. So let's go to Quincy Jones real fast before you people. You know, may not, you, for you people that don't know or are too lazy to look up what Quincy Jones look like. Look at that. Look at Quincy Jones. You see that? And, and who did Quincy Jones sleep with? A so-called white woman, an Edomite woman. So that's why his daughter looked the way she do. It's very plain. Look at that. You see that? All right, so on to the next one. Let's go to Walker Nathan Diggs. Oh, but it already gave it to you before I wanted to, uh, you know, show you or surprise you, so to say. Now, Tay Diggs, y'all know the actress, the comedy dude to play in movies, Tay Diggs. He had a son by what? <laughs> Edomite woman. You see, but look at his son. Look at that. You see, he don't look too much like an Edomite, but he can pass as one. But through the seed of his father, in fact, that he's an Israelite. Okay. I would look I had an image to show you. Right? Just to show you one where he really looks like an Edomite in a picture, but he's not. Um can't find it. Let's see. Let's try this one. Yeah, you could tell he look a little light skin a little bit than that. You know. Hey, but the point is he saw it as a light. Okay? Hey, because there's no there's no such thing as a mixed seed, okay, or a half breed. When you know the Esau, the so called white man, got that doctrine out there like uh to say, Well, you're mixed. There's no such thing as a mixed person on the earth. Alright. So that's the next one. You got uh Paula Patton. Okay? Now, it tells you that her father is a so-called African-American, meaning he's a Negro, okay? She's an Israelite, okay? Here you go. Her father is an African-American and her mother who is Caucasian. Her mother's an Edomite, you see? Let's go to some images to show you more images of Paula. Here you have it. She don't look like your, your everyday average dark-skinned Woolly hair Israelite woman, do she? No, she do not. Okay, but she's an Israelite. You see, 
people would say this, they would say, oh, look at her, look at this Edomite woman. Nope, not the case. Israelite by the father. Last but not least, let's go to Sydney Brook. Okay. Actually, her name is uh, Sydney Brook Simpson. <laughs> now look, you see, look at that. She got a little uh, blonde and a little bit darker hair, right? Got that so-called basically white skin tone looking a little bit but without a shadow of a, of a doubt look at her father OJ Simpson how could you niggas argue against this we know OJ Simpson is clearly clearly Jake right but look at the woman he dealt, dealt with an Edomite woman look 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 at the daughter look at Sydney when she was young she looked like a complete Edomite you know from the looks on the outside but when you when you dig deeper into it right when you look in on the whole spiritual sense hey, you know by the seed of your father this child is an Israelite okay this child is an Israelite period you know hey so you know this was more of Sean and the examples you know of Israelite children that look like someone of another nation but in, indeed that they're Israelites okay I know there's a, a few more scriptures I could have grabbed but you know sometimes this is how lessons may be so let's um let's get this real fast. Tia and Tamara Tamara Maori. Right? Just want to show you I just want to show you something. All right, now look at this. You all know the two sisters, the two twins. Um they had the hit show from Sister Sister. Right? There they go. So these two sisters look like, oh, you know, they just, they just look, they just like, look like fair, light-skinned Israelite sisters. That's what they appear to be, right? That's what they look like, right? Because a lot of you would accept them before you accept Paula Patton or, or uh, Rashida Jones. Because why? They appear to look like Israelites. But in fact, they're not. These are tears. You know, let's, let's get their father. I'll show you their father. You know, let's get the picture of the mother and father just to show you. Tamia and Tamara. Mother and father. Okay, so here we go. Their father's name is Timothy Mowry and the mother's name Darlene Mowry. Okay, so show me all the images. Let's get all these images. Look at that. Look at this. <laughs> Look at this. You know what? I ain't even got to click. Oh, it went up close. Look at her father. Complete Edomite. Look at the mother. We know the mother's an Israelite. So what happened? The Israelite woman went and slept with a woman from another nation. Now brought forth what? A tear. Why? Because you come from the seed of your fathers. Okay? So regardless of the fact, these children that appear to be Israelites, they're Edomites. They're heathens. They're tears. Okay? And like what? Hey, what the Proverbs say? Mother like daughter. What did the daughter go do? She went and went to go deal with who? Edomite men. Again, the put the put forth from bring or bring forth more uh uh uh, Edomite children, man. Even if they appear to be Israelite children, if she had them and if they take on her features, they may appear to look like Israelite children or light skin or fair skin or so called mix. But in fact, they're Edomites. Let's read it again in case you know you don't understand that. Um, the book of Numbers 1 and 18 it says, and they assembled all the congregation together on the first day of the second month. And they declared their pedigrees after their families by the house of their fathers, according to the names of from 20 years old and upward by their pole. So I believe there's another one I want to get. Let's um, see if it's the one I want. It's the book of Cle Sirach, 1 verse. Um, I'll start off. 
I'll start at 14. It says, To fear the Lord is the beginning of wisdom, and it was created with the faithful in the womb. See that? Wisdom was created with the faithful in the womb. Right? Predestinated. She has built an everlasting foundation. Who is the she? The she is the wisdom. She has built an everlasting foundation with men, and she shall continue with their seed. Whose seed? The men's seed, because the men carry the seed. You see? <laughs> oh my goodness. Let's go to the book of Sirach 44, verse 11. And it reads, it says, Whoo! Oh my goodness, this is beautiful. But I just want to get to the point. It says, But these men were merciful men whose righteousness have not been forgotten. When you read up, you know, uh, speaking of our, our famous forefathers, the men. Right? Um, no, well, let's just read it for Let's just read it again. It's uh, Sirach 44, verse 1. It says, Let us praise famous men in our fathers that begot us. Begot the fathers that begot us. The Lord, when we wrought glory by them through, the, through his great power from the beginning, such as they bear rule in their, in their kingdoms, men renowned for their power, giving counsel by their understanding and declaring prophecies, men of the Lord, leaders of the, of the people by their counsels and learning meek for the people, wise and eloquent in their, in their instructions, such as found out musical tones, tunes and reject the verses in writing. Rich men furnished with ability, living peaceably in their habitations. All these were honored in their generations and were, were the glory of their times. There be of them that have left a name behind them that their praises might be reported. And some there be which have no memorial, who are perished as though they had never been and are become as though they had never been born and their children after them. But these were merciful men whose righteousness have not been forgotten. With their seed shall continually remain a good inheritance in the children or without the covenant. Salakia. And their children are within the covenant. You will have to be an Israelite. Their seed stands fast in their children for their sakes. Their seed shall remain forever and their glory shall not be blotted out. You see? Their seed. The men's seed. Okay? Women do not carry seed. Okay, therefore she cannot determine a nationality because the man carries the seed which determines the nationality. Okay, of a child that comes forth out of that woman. So now, before we close out, I wanted to uh, show, if, go into a few more examples, right? Or just one more for the sake for the sake of time. Okay. So as you can see, uh, T and Tamira, right? Edomites. Right? But they all appear to be Israelites. Um, there's one more I was thinking of. Um, Alright, so let's look up Diana Ross. Let's see her and her little family. Diana. Yep. Ooh, I should have clicked on the children. Now look at Diana Ross. Let's look at Diana Ross' children. Okay, so all right, here go the images. Okay, let's let's just click on this. Oh, let's let's get a closer one. That's a that's a that's an okay one too. All right, so now look look at the children. They all compare they uh, they appear to be Israelites, right? Their appearance they look like what? They they look fair skinned or, or uh, you know light skinned a little bit or brown skin or whatnot. Correct. I guess these other ones is their grandchildren or something like that maybe. That's what I'm guessing. But the point is, right? Diana Ross's children, we're going to show you. Let's, let's go to the kid's father. Because he's going to pop up. And Jake need to learn by being showed these things. 
right? Let's see, let's click on this one. Slog, yeah. I'm gonna find that in my second. Oh, flip it around. Oh, it's easier for me to work like this. Alright, okay. Well, while I'm finding the picture, we know that Diana Ross slept with an Edomite. Okay. I want to figure out his name. Oh, yeah. Okay, look. Yeah, here we go. Look. This is Tracy Ellis Ross, right? Diana, Diana Ross's daughter. Look at her father, man. Look at her father. Her father is Robert Ellis Silverstein, which he more than likely is a fake Jew. Because he got the name Silverstein, okay? We know they rock with these different weird last names. So, more than likely, her father is one of them fake Jews. But the point is, he's an Edomite. And Tracy Ellis Ross appears to us as an Israelite, okay? But she's not. She's a tear, okay? Just like the rest of them children you see. They may got woolly hair and this light skin a little bit. And, uh, uh, you know, curly hair or whatever the case may be. Right? Their parents are Israelites. They're Edomites. They're, they're heathens. They're tares, man. Okay? They're tares. So, matter of fact, let's, let's get this, uh, let's get this, uh, in the scriptures. The wheat and the tares. Okay? Let's get the wheat and the tares. And we're going to close out. You know, I don't want to spend too long on this lesson. You know, we're just quick through the spirit. You know, had to get it off because, hey, Jake, <laughs> Jake really think that, <laughs> you know, you got these, these clowns out here that say, in order to be an Israelite, you got... Your mother and father got to be an Israelite, or you got to have woolly hair, you got to be dark skin, all this madness they come up with, man. You know? But we know that's not the case because we hear a great millstone from the apostles and elders on down. We are a spiritual, we are a spiritual men. Okay? So now let's go to the book of Matthew 13, verse. Whoo. Verse 24 says. Another parable put he forth unto them, saying, The kingdom of heaven is likened unto a man which sowed good seed in his field. But while men slept, his enemy came and sowed tares, right, heathen children, among the wheat. The wheat represent the Israelites, and went his way. But when the blade was sprung up and brought forth fruit, there appeared the tares also. So the servants of the householder came and said unto him, Sir, did it not thou sow good seed in thy field from whence then have it tares? He said unto them, An enemy have done this. The servants said unto him, Will thou then that we go and gather them up? But he said, Nay, lest while ye gather up the tares, and ye root up also the wheat with them. Why? Because the tares are going to look exactly like wheat. Now, uh, I haven't looked this up in a while, but when you look up... Uh, Oh, let's see the wheat and tears. When you look it up, when you look up the, t the tears and the wheat, they look exactly alike. So I'll type that in wrong. Oh, man. Okay, so here we go. Look at this. Tears look identical to wheat. You see that? Wheat before fully ripe and there go the tears. So they're very identical. Okay? So if you wanted to go reap, if you wanted to try to go reap, uh, get what you had to go get, right? To go reap it and, and not paying attention, you're, going, you're trying to go get the wheat, you know, or, or you're trying to get the tears out, you're going to end up trying to get up some wheat. Or, or yeah, pulling some wheat up. Okay, so let's read this again. It says, but he said, nay, lest while you gather up the tares, ye root up also the wheat with them. Why? Because they are identical. Let both grow together until the harvest. And in the time of the harvest, I will say to the reapers, and we know the reapers are the angels, gather ye together first the tares and bind them in the bundles to burn them, but gather the wheat into my barn. Right? Because the angels, you know, they know. They know the difference just by just... 
you know, it's not, they don't got to go through all the things that we got to go through to, you know, say, okay, let's look at her father or her, his father and his father or her father and all that. They, right there, as soon as they look at you, boom, they, they know off the rip, oh, that's an Israelite, that's a heathen, or, or that's an Edomite, that's an Elamite, and that, you know, they know, okay? So it says, um... Oh, yeah, so that's the point. So let both go together into the harvest in the time of the harvest. I will say to the reapers, gather ye together first the tears and bind them in the bundles to burn them. You see? Because these tears are good for nothing. But gather the wheat into my barn. The wheat represents the Israelites and you tears represents the other nations that, you know, uh, may be a parable as Israelites, but you are not. So you see? So what about the tears? Okay, you got a lot of, you got a lot of, <laughs> you got a lot of tears that appear to be your people, but are not, but are not. And that's, and that's a thing that none of you bug outs like to talk about. Y'all don't like to talk about the wheat and the tears. Y'all don't talk about the, the a parable to be Israelites, but which are not Israelites. You see? Because you guys are carnal and you guys are not spiritual. Okay? And the Lord not, ultimately the Lord not dealing with you. So what's, we're going to close out with a... Uh, First Corinthians two verse fourteen. Matter of fact, let's start at twelve. It says, "Now we have received not the spirit of the world, but the spirit which is of Yahweh Shai, that we might know the things that are freely given to us by the Most High Yahweh and uh, Yahweh Shai." Which things also we speak in the words which man's wisdom teaches, but which is of the Holy Spirit, teaching, comparing spiritual things with spiritual. But the natural, but the natural man receiveth not the things of the Spirit of the Most High, Yahabashim Yahashai, for they are foolishness unto him. Neither can he know them because they. Why can't they know these things? They can't know these things because they are spiritually discerned. And that's why you guys. Are bugging out over this carnal matter uh, of the flesh, you know, thinking all Israelites got to be of a dark skin complexion or woolly hair or whatever man is that you teach. But, you know, hope this lesson was edifying through the spirit. You know, where now you can see the examples and understand. But with that, Shalom.